need to be really strong mentally and like be able to adjust to things really fast and kind of analyze and problem solve. It's all about strategy, finding ways to hit your opponent without them hitting you first. Audrey Green is a fencer. This is her weapon of choice. This is the foil. There's three different weapons. This is what the foil looks like. And with foil, um, you can only um, score a point by touching with the end of it. Three days a week, this 15-year-old gets suited up and starts practicing her technique. It's a lot of work and I have com competitions like almost every weekend, but I just, whenever I'm fencing, I just really enjoy myself, so it doesn't seem like it's that much work. She's the one that ha handles school and life with fencing and uh, traveling all the time, training hard. She wants it so badly, she wants to qualify for the Canadian Women's Foil uh, national team next year. And she's getting closer and closer to reaching that goal. Audrey's proof of success lies in her medals. She has three from the Canadian Nationals, and most recently she made top eight at the Super Youth Circuit in Washington. I also just think it's a really amazing thing to, to watch and grow up learning this these intense kind of skills. It's very demanding, and she's doing really well. It definitely takes a lot of practice to get to this level. Come on, Audrey, I challenge you to a duel. Are you ready? Trust me, I know. This was my first attempt at fencing, and let's just say I failed miserably. <laughs> Already. Oh. Good game. Did you say good game? <laughs> People don't really understand it, but that's kind of the appeal of it in some ways. It's just such a cool sport. Like I love it, and I wouldn't really switch to another sport ever. Congratulations, Audrey! You're this week's athlete of the week. Thank you. Gotcha. If you know an outstanding athlete, here's how to contact us.